this started and we'll do some explanations here all right so this is the reset part that i did because you know leaderboard rules all right so 1-1 one -one, first part nothing different um this part here i did uh, touch that part of the ledge, but I still ended up getting a 380. So at first I thought about going for the flagpole glitch, but then I just decided to finish the level normally. And uh, this actually didn't lose any time, so I remained even with my PB after 1 1. Okay, so we got uh, 1 2 coming up here. I do this little swag where I stomp on both of those Koopas. I did push left a little bit to not run into that Goomba there. Got the pipe jumps, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, swag. So we got a pretty good 1-2. There will be times where I do miss the pipe jump, but thankfully I didn't miss it in this one. Okay, so this 1-3 here, I did go for the fast grab, but I did have some confusion after the level. So, as we see this grab, it looked really good. Like, I didn't crouch or anything after landing on the ground. Like, I still get a 258 here. It's like a really high 258. Now, you'll notice something with my splits. Um, it shows that... I gained a second from my PB. I wasn't sure if that was true or not, so I ended up actually erasing that um, that split after 1-4. I tried to go for the fast grab there, but I kind of messed up, so I had this really awkward grab. And then the Bowser fight, he gave me a backwards forwards pattern, but thankfully I was able to kill him. But I did end up getting a 257 1-4, and there you see I did erase that split. But it actually turned out um, that I remained even with my PB, so there was that mystery of 1-3 that I'll never know like if, if I was really like one second ahead or not. <clears throat> so now we got a 2-1 here. Um, pretty straightforward. There is a portion, like at this end of the level, I did pull back just slightly just to make sure I get a 5 on the flagpole. And I also listen to the music as well when I hear that, that first beat of the next part. Okay, so 2-2. Um, I usually don't really kill enemies in the water stages because sometimes I worry about the patterns at the end of the level. So I pretty much play somewhat as a pacifist here. There are probably just a few enemies that I do end up killing. Just like that one cheap cheap. I think I do kill another enemy here. Yeah, it helps out a lot, Goofy. Okay, so that was the only cheap cheap I killed. Uh, because it was pretty much in the way. And I usually do that uh, tiny swim to avoid the, the blooper in that middle section. So, yeah, this level turned out really well. I didn't lose any time or anything. So 2-3, on this frame rule, uh, there is a certain cheap cheap that you do have to kill, otherwise you have to do a very risky duck jump. So you'll see me shoot two fireballs here. That's the cheap cheap that you gotta kill, otherwise you have to do that risky duck jump. Yeah, correct, Goofy. Because sometimes, if it's unavoidable, then, you know, just shoot him down. Okay, so 2-4, very simple castle level. Probably the only hardest thing about this level is just getting the duck jump on the platforms. Don't have to worry about the fire bars here. So we got that duck jump. And I think for the Bowser kill... Okay, I did go for the 262 here. So we do get the frame roll from this. 
you can also get the frame roll by uh, bumping into the platform and then just get like the axe on the first frame. So there have been times where I do get the frame roll regardless of going to, for 262 or not. All right, so now we're uh, one frame roll ahead into 3-1. This is Darbian's favorite level. <laughs> Fun fact. <clears throat> You've gotten first frame before Goofy? Yeah, it's it's really satisfying when you get that first frame in 2-4. Getting that frame rule. So in 3-2, just pretty straightforward. And there is a strat that I go for that you will know very well, Goofy. It's coming up right here. The Goofy Chi. So you shoot those uh, three Koopas there to despawn a couple of the Goombas in the at the end of the stage. We call that the Goofy Chi. <laughs> yeah, very useful strat. Um, if you don't kill those enemies, then all the Goombas remain there. Definitely does make the stairs nicer. All right, three uh, three dash three. Normally, people say that uh, by collecting those coins, it matches with the music. I don't really think it does. It just sounds like a catchy tune, but I don't think it matches with the overworld music at all. So, a pretty straightforward level. So, three dash four. This is the. I think it's the over under under frame roll, for the Potaboos. This jump here was pretty scary. Yeah. I didn't use the spreadsheet for these, I memorized them. But I'm gonna have to use the spreadsheet moving forward because I'm starting at a later delay. Okay, so I didn't lose any time in 3-4. Sometimes with that Bowser kill, there will be instances where I do lose the frame rule. So thankfully I didn't lose it there. Yeah, I practically memorized the frame rules from, let's say, if I was one frame rule behind my PB, all the way up to like maybe two frame rules ahead. That's pretty much all I know. But moving forward, I will start on minus 3.62 to make the 5 4 patterns more smoother. Okay, 4 2. M my favorite level of the run. Well, in Warpless. So we go the bottom route, which is the best route. <laughs> Sometimes people hit the, the vine block to despawn that last uh, prawn plant there, but I just shoot him down because it's much cooler. And you don't lose time from going the top route either, so... <clears throat> <laughs> Bottom is life, yep. Okay, so we have 4-3 coming up. Uh, this one has the Sky Boots frame roll. Which is... Uh, when you grab the flagpole and there's like a pixel of sky underneath Mario's boot, you get the frame roll. And you have to hold right the entire level. You can't bump into anything. So we're going to see here. It's going to be hard to tell from this video. But it did look like I did get the frame rule. Also, I had a fake split in 4-2. Uh, so I just took that split off. 4-4. This is like probably one of the most concerning levels of the run. Because of how Bowser behaves. I think he jumps forward in my PB. Let me see here. Yeah, he jumped forward, so it was pretty safe. Get a 348 there, so no time lost. It's going to get to that point where I will use the 4-4 clip, yeah. If I'm going to go for sub-19, I have to go for the 4-4 clip. Alright, so 5-1. Um, nothing much to stay here. Pretty straightforward level. Sometimes those Koopas can be a little tricky. 
like they give you different patterns sometimes that second koopa will jump really high and it'll throw you off so thankfully that didn't happen there 5-2 is like one of my least favorite stages in the run um, it's also the introduction of the Hammer Bros. Actually, no, the Hammer Bros were introduced in 3-1. What am I saying? So. They're more annoying in this stage. Luckily, that bro jumped to the bottom so I can kill him off to avoid the, the lag. Yo, David, thanks for the host, man. No lag in 5-2, yep. And we didn't get stair bossed either, so sometimes you can get stair bossed at the end there. Hey, welcome everyone. We're just doing the watchback of the 1904 run last night. Just providing some commentary for it. Okay, that bullet bill can be a little uh, scary there, so. So did that little turn back to avoid the death. And I did intentionally lose a frame roll there to get the good fire bars in 5-4. Yo, thanks, David. Appreciate it, man. So you can see we lose the frame roll intentionally. So this will be the the medium difficulty good bars. So we get that little tiny jump there. Do some duck jumps. Uh, I try to shoot Bowser as fast as possible because, as you saw there, he was jumping for a second time after landing. So I made sure that he just went down. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, that part can be pretty scary. Alright, so 6 1. So we're practically even with my PB now instead of being a frame rule ahead. And of course, 6 1 is pretty much just like 4 1. Practically a free stage. Like, the Lockheed Duke can't do anything to you. Alright, so in 6-2, probably a lot of people's favorite levels, and especially if they're fire. Um, getting to shoot down a lot of these piranha plants. One time I actually did lose a run at that part, with that where I shot that piranha plant. Um, I, mi I missed fired, and um, I just like ran right into him, like an idiot boss. So... Yeah, 6-2 is a good stage. Now, 6-3. Um, some people will take the top route here. Um, I took the bottom route. So you'll see here that I do this duck jump at the very edge of this platform there. Now, of course, we got the bullet bills coming, but he's really not much of a big deal. Like, I actually got good bullet bills there. Just slow down just enough to get a 5 at the end of the stage. So I still remain even heading into 6-4. This is the top top frame rule. Yep. And then this is the strat that I developed for this fire bar coming up. Instead of doing duck jumps like on the fire bar block, I just do a medium sized jump and I'm able to pass right through without getting damaged. So that's a strat that I did. Um, but yeah, normally you would do like tiny duck jumps to avoid the fire bars. And I ended up gaining a frame roll in that stage with a 262 fire kill. 7-1. Um, I did a lot of... Uh, <laughs> this part right here especially... Um, did that little bit of a slowdown instead of stomping on that Buzzy Beetle. To get that 2 at the end of the timer. Now this is where it starts uh, getting a little more serious. Because of 7-2, um, you get more bloopers and more cheap cheeps in this stage. So again, I went with the somewhat pacifist strat. And I do swim down these two particular bloopers. I've seen Cosmic do this in his run. And then there will be some enemies I do end up shooting down, like this red cheap cheap here. But I try my best not to shoot anybody else, um, especially for the end part. 
because sometimes there will be a very bad blooper. Usually it would be that guy, but he was much further to the left that time, so he gave me a free pass. So in 7-3, um, we get Koopas in this stage. And there is a, a, I don't remember if there was like a scary cheap cheap here. I think there was, like it's after the power up, I believe. Yeah, this one coming up, I do like a duck jump, barely avoid him. I could have gotten hit there, <laughs> like easily. But that duck jump saved me. And this is probably my least favorite castle, 7-4. So there's a strat here in the second part of the maze. Like this part right here, I do a duck, duck jump early on to avoid getting bonked. And then this Bowser kill was something. So I shoot two fireballs, he jumps backwards. A little bit of lag, but I still end up getting a 345-7-4 here. So that is my best 7-4 that I've ever done. So I ended up gaining one second. Because I ended up losing time in my previous PB from that. And I also lost time in 8-1 and 8-2. So yeah, 8-1, pretty self-explanatory. Like, playing it like any percent for the most part, except I have fire this time. Yeah, that that Bowser kill was pretty sweet. Even with that lag too. And this is where the heart starts racing quite a bit. <laughs> Even though like, and I don't have chat to interact with and all that, but doing this offline run, like I could really feel the pressure coming up. So yeah, I had more time to save in 8-1, so 8-2, I also have time to save in this stage. Um, during my stream last night, I did die at the very end of the level to that Koopa. Like I shot him down and I just fell into the pit. But this time I did it slightly safer. I still ended up shooting him, but you know. Well, I couldn't let you beat me, GTAs. Come on. <laughs> you think I just let you let you just take my spot like that? <laughs> nah, but nah, you still did great though. Okay, eight three. Um, usually, stupid stuff happens in the stage, so I just try to make sure I shoot the Koopas or the Hammer Bros as as late as possible. Because before I used to shoot them early. So sometimes they'll throw the hammer backwards and I'll end up getting hit from it. Okay, so I was 2.1 seconds ahead in 8.4, but I have a major blunder in this stage. So first room was okay. And then second room, I do the two frame setup for the wall jump, which is totally fine. And this is where the blunder happens. I jump way too short and early, <laughs> but I still ended up getting a, a decent turnaround after that. So that cost me the 1903. And then this water section here. Uh, this is actually a really good water section. Do that duck pipe entry. And of course the end here. And I lost a few frames on the axe grab, so... <laughs> so yeah, that could have been a 1903 if I didn't mess up that turnaround room. So yeah, that's the run, folks. And I can't believe that happened. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I wish this was on stream. It just felt like doing an offline run and then all of a sudden there's the 1904 finally.
Oh my gosh. That turnaround rune was just awful, but that could have gotten a 1903 probably. Yep. <laughs> but no, man, it's it fifth place. PB. It's just a shame I did this offline. And that's how it ends, folks. 